Well, tonight we're working to learn more about a 39 mile chase that began in Johnston County and came to a head all the way in Wilson. Now authorities are telling us that the pursuit got started after a carjacking and robbery, but ended in gunfire. Angelica Alvarez live in Wilson Forest tonight on this one with details. Angelica. Joe, law enforcement sources tell me that man was killed, shot several times by two deputies, one from Wilson County, another from Johnston County. Now that shooting and police chase all ended here at 42 and I-95. All this happening just after 3 this morning, but it started three hours before that in Smithfield. Police there confirmed the suspect robbed the Kangaroo gas station on Brightleaf at gunpoint, then stole a car from someone at the American Pride car wash, which was just up right up the road. From there, our overnight crew witnessed police from Selma and deputies from Johnston County chase the suspect in that stolen vehicle. More than three hours and almost 40 miles later, that chase ended here in Wilson County, where our sources tell me the suspect hit a Wilson County Sheriff's car near here, the I-95 and Highway 42 bridge, almost pushing that cruiser off the bridge. And that's when the deputy in that car fired shots at the suspect who was still in his car. Another deputy with Johnston County fired shots from another angle. Now, our crew on scene saw the man was hit, and sources confirmed that he was, in fact, killed. Now, I called the Wilson County Sheriff's Office to try to confirm details with them. Everyone's pushing me towards them, but they tell me that SBI is now investigating, which is protocol whenever an officer is involved in a shooting. And we're going to get you more details from them, and we'll bring that to you as soon as we can. For now, live from Wilson County, I'm Angelica Alvarez for ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Wild day out there, Angelica. Thank you.